So I was totally inspired by Khloe Kardashian. I'm inspired by everybody who's had a bob, actually. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry this mannequin. We did the tutorial for how to get this haircut inside of shorthairbootcamplive.com. So go check that out if you want to become a member. I'd love to have you. So I just went through and just did a basic blow dry. I couldn't use my Ferrari blow dryer because it kept blowing out the power. So this is my travel blow dryer, but I am just focusing on blow drying it straight. And now I'm going to run the flat iron through. For some reason, the sound did not work in this video. So I wasn't trying to really do too much. I just thought I would turn the camera on while I make this girl cute because when I um, did this haircut in the short hair tutorial um, on my online class, I blow dried it so well, it was just full of body and it actually gave it kind of that older bob look. So I wanted to just show my class that that same cut can be sleek. And so that's what I just was trying to flat iron real fast. And then I turned the camera on and started talking to you guys on my lovely YouTube channel. So I thought I would just um, flat iron her hair and let you know this is a cut that is inside of shorthairbootcamplive.com. I love bone straight hair. So I'm just going to section and clip this off and I'm going to divide and conquer. And I'm while I'm flat, iron, flat ironing, I'm remembering to just kind of make it, I want it straight. I don't want a lot of bevel. I, I'm inspired by, like I said, the way Khloe Kardashian is wearing her hair. So she either does it kind of messy or she's wearing it like bone straight. It's so sexy with like some orange lipstick. I'm even gonna change my lipstick for this video. <laughs> In the meantime, um, this is just a random you know, video. And I actually thought I should do more hair tutorials like this. Not necessarily tutorials, but just do hair on camera because sometimes I'm a visual person. I like to watch people do hair. So that's what I'm going to do here. If you're interested, stay tuned. I'm just going to flat iron the hair. And I was talking, like I said, and teaching, but the sound for some reason isn't working on this footage. So I am flat ironing, remembering to just kind of come straight out from the head, not really bend the hair. And so I don't want to bend it because it's going to give me that bevel look, which is going to kind of date the bob. And I don't want it to look, you know, although old stuff is in. This is basically throwback hairstyle. But I'm just taking it down. The key to flat ironing, guys, and I notice when people are doing their silk outs, they're not letting the flat iron and the heat move through the hair at an even distribution so that it can actually silk the hair out. Um, I've seen people just kind of run the flat iron through really fast. And it doesn't silk the hair out. And it really does make a difference in how much bounce the hair has. Now the thing is the iron needs to be constantly moving and um, even if you have to make multiple passes through the hair, just make sure that the iron is constantly moving, guys. And according to the client that you're working on, look at their hair. How much heat can their hair take? Heat, lately, because everybody's going natural and I do natural hair, you know, I wear my hair natural. The thing about it is that you have to judge the heat based on that person's hair. How much can they take? Because some people, their hair is really, really fine and high heat will damage the follicle and actually, you know, mess up the hair. But a lot of people, like my hair needs heat. I need heat on my hair. So you got to be expert, understand and study. Go back to hair theory. Look at, look at what heat does to the hair. Look at what different textures can take and can't take. And understand shampoos and conditioners and how they make the hair feel. And what will make the hair fluffy? What will weigh the hair down? Guys, hairdressing um, education never stops. And so that will help you um, get silky hair, silkier hair, you know? But don't skimp on your flat iron. And my pet peeve is when you flat iron, but you don't follow all the way through to the ends. And then what happens is the ends are kind of like frizzy and not smooth. Make sure, watch how the hair falls out that iron. Silk it out all the way to the end. And remember, while I'm flat ironing, I'm looking to just get this hair straight. I don't. I want the ends. I want to see that cut. I want to see that choppiness um, because that's very intentional for this cut. So I'm just going to go through and work in sections and flat iron the hair straight out from the head, straight down.
Now, is it just me? Every time I get to like the top of a client's head, I start going, ooh, I can go this way and I can go that way. So while I was flat ironing this piece, I saw the hair going to the side and I was like, ooh, that's cute. So I got distracted. I was like, should I give it a side part or go back to my middle part? I just don't know. I just love hair. There's so many options. I don't know. Is that just me or do you guys do that too? Comment below. Take a selfie on this one. So I'm obsessed with lipstick. I think that lipstick makes a woman just feel so much more confident. I think that it makes your face pop. I think that it makes you feel feminine and sexy. So don't forget, girl, whenever you go out, put you some lipstick on and play with color. Get you some oranges and some pinks and have some fun. take some Sebastian spray. I love the Sebastian working spray. It literally is just the shaper. Um, it's a dry, brushable, styling spray. So what I did is just spray it towards the uh, top of the head only, really. And what I love is that it's buildable. And even and when it dries, your hair can still move, but it helps build shape. And so what I'm doing here is just kind of playing around and smoothing the hair out. Um, because I blow dried it with the middle part, the part was kind of set. So what I did was kind of use the shaping spray to wet the top of the hair and then comb it into place. And that's
that's just the Mazzani um, uh, Thermo Smooth. It just helps with flyaways. It's very light. It doesn't make the hair heavy. And I'm just using the small tooth comb to really go in. And the small tooth comb will give you a smoother finish. Now, I love this little cover. I normally use it on my big blow dryer, but I'm going to use it with this one too. What happens is it diffuses the air so that it doesn't just blow directly on the hair. And so I can use that heat to kind of set that shaper spray into the head. And so now I've actually changed her part. And, you know, if you need to do that quickly on your hair or on a client or whatever, whoever's watching, you could totally have that option. And it doesn't make the hair sticky. And if I really took my time and like really worked it, I could even make it smoother than that. But you can see that the part is versatile, the cut is versatile. It's fun, no matter how you shake it, it falls really pretty. Um, and the spray, you could totally put layers in the front, but I didn't want to. But I see, now that I'm watching this, I'm like, ooh, I can put some layers there. But that would change the dynamic of the cut. So anyway, you can see the Sebastian spray will get you through the night of having the hair over your eye like a Leah. Anyhow, thanks for watching, guys, and um, I'll be back with, I'm going to do a lot more videos like this. It's really fun just to pick up your mannequin, guys, if you're a hairstylist, and just play, get inspiration, look at what's on the internet, what's trending with all the different celebrity looks that people are trying to look like, and just get creative. Creativity is really um, ruling right now, and the hairdressers and makeup artists and the people in life who are letting their creativity flow, setting aside time to play. Um, they're getting results of happiness and and they're putting out good stuff and they're helping people in the process and everybody wins. So I challenge you to set some time aside to just be creative with no, just be creative, have fun. All right, until the next video, I'm Lakeisha Michelle. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, rate, comment, and let me know what you want to see below next in the video. Ciao.